my channel. So before we go anywhere into this video, I know that you guys are going to be very confused by the video title because a lot of you know that um, I had a 6S, an iPhone 6S. Um, and not too long ago, I smashed my 6S. So now I have got my, so yeah, my mum bought me. So we were going to get a 6S again, but then I realised how easily it smashed because I smashed it on my carpet. So instead I got the iPhone SE, which is pretty much the 6S, but um, it's just smaller. It does the same software and download all the same apps, same, pretty much the same storage. So yeah. I have the iPhone SE and today I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPhone SE. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight on to the video. Okay guys, let's take a look at my phone. So um, my phone is in rose gold because you guys know how much I love rose gold. It's such a pretty colour and yeah, I really like it. Um, my phone case is from Amazon and there are so many different colours. There's blue, there's turquoise, red, all sorts. And I wanted to get either the peachy pink, which is the one I have on right now, or the turquoise one. Um, in the end, I went with this one. Maybe I might get the turquoise one as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It's got marble. Um, oh yeah, they're all the same, but yeah. Um, so the phone case has marble, peach, pink, polka dots stripes and yeah it's just amazing and it's really protective and it doesn't come off very easily which is great because you don't want your phone case to be flimsy so yeah um for my lock screen i have this picture of me when i was walking home one day it's very autumnal because i have the red shoes and then yeah it's like got leaves and it, you know <laughs> so yeah and this phone has touch id as well which is great so for my home screen wallpaper i have a baby blue background because it's kind of turquoise -y, but I don't really know I really like it though it's pretty and it's just plain so for my actual like for my actual apps I've set out um I've like organized it so I just have it on one page because my phone used to be really messy until a couple like last month when I said I'm actually just gonna sit down and organize this um so yeah I only have one page now which is great so let's take a look at what's on it so at the bottom I have all my like basic apps, I have phone, I'm not going to go on there because I don't want anyone finding any numbers. I have Safari, um, yeah I was looking at a couple of wallpapers um, last time I was on Safari, that one's actually really nice. Uh, that bitch was phone, messages and FaceTime all in this one thing and it just uses what um, Wi-Fi which is great. And then I have regular messages as well, so those are all my basic apps. So. Up here I have like probably my most used apps which are on at the bottom which are mail but I'm not going to go in there because I have a lot of emails and I don't want to show them. And then I have calendar so it is currently the 21st of October and I'm so excited because it's actually quite close to Christmas so I'm so excited. Um, up here I have photos, oh yeah this is my outro if you're wondering so. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> just ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, photos is just photos, quite simple. Yeah. And then I have camera, which is where I take the pictures. Next up I have is clock. It is currently in uh, 2.50. So yeah, um, yeah. And then I have settings, but that's just boring and there's nothing special about settings really. So I'm just gonna leave that. Then I have app store which I use a lot because I have a lot of apps and yeah, um, yeah, so I have those. <laughs> next thing I have is weather, uh, I'm not going to go on that, but yeah. And the next thing I have is notes, I use this loads, um, yeah, just for like writing video ideas and different things, lists and all that stuff, um, so yeah, notes is really, really handy. I have contacts, I'm not going to go on that either. Then I have GarageBand, which is kind of like a game. I haven't really played it on this phone before. I've used played it on my iPod and my other phone when I had my 6S. But it's really fun. It's like a game. I tend to play it on the airplane when I don't have any Wi-Fi. And yeah, it's really cool. You just make music with it, obviously. I think everyone knows what it is. But like, you haven't really given it a chance. And once you do, it's so fun. Um, so yeah, that's GarageBand. And then here I have Podcasts. 
Um, yeah, so the podcast I'm listening to right now is Happy Place by Fern Cotton, and I'm listening to Emma Willis. I'm listening to, because like, there's different episodes, and the one I'm listening to is Emma Willis, so yeah, and podcasts are great. If you don't know what podcasts are, they're just things where you can search up different things and people like talk about them and talk about different topics and things, and it's really fun. So this one's kind of about um, inner beauty, and yeah, it's cool. Next, I have an app called Draw Kawaii, which is really simple. It teaches you how to draw like kawaii style. So if I pick this really cute unicorn, it goes step by step, and yeah, you can like, oh my god. So yeah, it goes, you go step by step, and in the end, you come up with a really cute kawaii picture, which is just adorable, so. Yeah, my favorite one that I've done is probably the cactus. I love the cactus, it's so cute. So yeah, it's really basic, and in the end, you get a really good result, so. Yeah, mine actually look exactly like that, so yeah. And the next thing, so next I have four folders. The first one is social media, so. I have two um, pages. So the first one is YouTube Studio, which is basically just um, where you can monitor your YouTube account on the go. You don't have to sign in or anything. If you have the YouTube app, whatever account is on there, you just it just selects it from there automatically. If you have two accounts, you have to select which one. But yeah. And then I have YouTube, obviously, because everybody loves YouTube. Um, I mean, you're watching me on YouTube right now, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, these are just some of the YouTubers that I watch. Oh, Superwoman is so funny, but, yeah. Okay, then I have YouTube Kids, which is pretty much just, um, yeah, it's great though. which is pretty much just YouTube, but it blocks out inappropriate content, so things with swearing and just inappropriate stuff, really. And then I have Boomerang, which is by Instagram. Pretty much just like, when you do Boomerang stories, or whatever you like. Yeah, you know, you can share it to Instagram and stuff. And then I have Mixgram, which is pretty much like pic collage, but it just doesn't have the internet um, connection stuff, but it's still really cool and I love it. Then I have Instagram, uh, so yeah, um, you should definitely check out my Instagram, it's XOKayla's World XO, same um, as the YouTube, I post quite regularly on here, so definitely follow me, um, yeah, this is my Instagram. Uh, next thing I have is TikTok, which is pretty much just Musical.ly, but yeah, so this is my musically i'll show you one of them i guess i'll show you this one um excuse me miss teacher lady why did you give me a 52 on my test well because you did really bad no 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 no. because it took me three hours three hours to study for this test i couldn't even watch spongebob because i was studying for this test and you give me a 52 no 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 change um yeah me, so that uh -huh. um, i'll show you another one actually because yeah um what about? Hmm. I'll show you this one. Yeah, but music is pretty fun. I don't post. I post almost every day. So yeah, definitely follow me on that. Next thing I have is Snapchat, but that's just my friends at the moment because yeah, Snapchat is gonna be a little bit dodgy. So that's just for people that I know right now. Then I have Perfect Three Six Five, which I actually found from a YouTuber that I watch, and it's pretty much where you can just test like makeup styles and things, um, and you can share them onto Instagram and stuff. Hi. But yeah, like you can like choose all those different makeup, so there's like softened skin and all that stuff and foundation and yeah, it's just fun. And then on to the next aisle, which is pretty much all the YouTube things apart from YouTube itself. So I have iMovie, which I use sometimes, and then I have Pic Collage because yeah, it's 
pick colors just for fun. And then I have Bont, which is just like a video thing. It, yeah. And then I have Bonto, which I found quite recently, and I'm going to be using it for my thumbnails from now on. So I'm going to show you like an example. Um, I'll do like a quick one. So what you have to do is, um, yeah, it's, it's really easy to use. I, if you want me to do a video of how I make my thumbnails, I'll definitely do that. But it's really easy. Um, yeah, it's just really easy. Like if I just get like a plain image, I'm going to go like this, and I do this, and use that. Yeah, there's iMovie. I use this a lot to like create um, funny um, trailers and things with my friends. And then pick collage, you know what that is. Everybody knows what this is. And there's actually a new feature now where you can create your own phone case. So if I was to have, you know, like you scroll down to where I'll just pick an iPhone 4. And you pick your like background. I'm just gonna go for a plain pink one. And you click yes and then you add text i'll just say michaela box yeah and i like to select this image and i'll just do that you can put that on it as well which is really cool i could do this and then i could move well, yeah, and then I can move this and you can edit it and then you go into next and it will like tell you um, the price and things. It will tell you the price and I'll deliver it. I'm not actually going to pay for it, but yeah, you're going to deliver delivery details and stuff like that. So that's really cool. So that's my social media file. The next one is stuff which is all the basic apps so very fit price my fitbit calculator ibooks measure um facetime find iphone reminders news you know all that stuff the next file is the fun file which is the games file so up here i have the sims i can't actually show you because it needs updating so yeah and then you like cover is like a halloween thing look at it it's so cool then i have fortnite but i'm not going to show you that because it takes ages to load and then i have disney crossy road which is pretty much just crossy road but disney characters so you just try not to get hit by anything when well, this is rapunzel character and yeah and then i have jump ball which isn't helix jump it's just by a different it's pretty much helix jump which is by a different company you just have to try not to touch the odd colour out, which in this case is yellow. Yeah. And then I have Jetpack Joyride, which is so fun. You just have to dodge the obstacles and get like coins and things, which is really cool. There's an obstacle, I don't wanna touch my that. Harder, because then you get faster and then you get moving. Um, obstacles like moving vehicles and things. Well, there's some coins. Yeah, but it gets harder after a while. And then they have tap tap dash, which is really fun. You just have to tap on the arrows, pretty much. So once it loads, I shall show you. And I got to like a level two hundred and something on my iPhone six S. Now I'm back to thirty five. But yeah, you have to tap on the arrows. yeah <laughs> and then I have piano tiles which I think everyone knows what that is it's really fun you just have to like I'll like do a quick demo you have to tap the tiles pretty much yeah <laughs> then I have DIY fashion star which is a great game you can do makeup hair all sorts it's a really fun game like I'll do a DIY skirt I want this outfit it goes away like the different thing i'll pick this and then you pick next and then you have to cut the shape of the skirt it's a pencil skirt this is going to be a pencil skirt so yeah and then you can add different diys and things like that you can get pictures from your camera roll and things um, i'm gonna go for like this color i'm gonna fill it I don't know, I'm gonna use like a bucket thing and do that. Okay. 
and then you can add stickers and stuff and then I have my music folder so I have my ukulele tuner in the top corner which is really simple to use I have my violin tuner I have metronome which is a great app it's basically just a metronome for ukulele and different instruments but pretty much ukulele and it just plays the beat and then you can make, make it faster and that's pretty much what's on my phone okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe down below and hit the post notification bell so then you know when i'm posting and yeah i think that's it hope to see you in my next one toodles